night and everything, uh, we're finally, I'm just waking up really late today. I've been needing some good ass sleep, so I finally got that. And now it's time to go to the mall. I gotta get a SIM card for my phone since they've been closed every single day. So yeah, last night we went to a gringo bar. And yeah, yes. Very much so a gringo bar. <laughs> Adios. Ciao. This guy's at the front. He's gotta unlock the gate for us. Off we go. Hmm. Well, we can walk it if you want. So Nick's going to fancy Europe after this. Oh so yeah. This will be awesome. So he's Paris and Italy, bitches. Paris and Italy. <laughs> so he's gonna get all this time here in South America. And after that, in case you don't know, Nick's from Ohio. Oh yeah. And he is my um, how do you say like a homestay partner, I guess? Homestay roommate. Roommate. We're not in the same room, but we share the same homestay with the same lady. Anyways, I'll tell you guys. Housemate? Housemate, yeah. So, a little bit about the homestay. She is, I don't know how old she is, and we really don't want to ask her. Right. So. 60? Eh, maybe. She's in her 60s, I think. So, we shouldn't leave that. She has three cats. <laughs> and oh, weird, too. Weird cats, yeah, they hit my arm. Three cats and then three daughters, but two of the daughters, one lives in Berlin, Germany, the other lives in Mexico City. Mexico. Mexico. City. And the other one lives here in Santiago. We just met her the other day, but she doesn't live with her. So, and she's plus she's older anyways. It's pretty much it. It's pretty much just Nick and I and her. Her name's Angelica. 87%? No. It's going to be about... All right, so I, I'm, I'm guessing that there's an observation deck at this building that we're going to. I forgot what it's called. It's a bank we're going to, or not a bank, a, a mall Costa we're going Nero to. Costa Nero Centro. Costa Nero Centro. And it is, I believe it is the tallest building in Latin America. And I'm about 87% sure that there's an observation deck that we can go on. So Here you go with your 87%. Uh, 87% yesterday was about 67 so I think it's going to happen. Yeah, that's the Santiago shit water collection. I don't know what it is. I think it's... Not uh, a big fan. Yeah, I, I, I think it's actually just dirt from the mountains, but definitely some water runoff from the rain and stuff. We had some clouds this morning, but they're gone. Yeah. And that building way over there is where we're going. Spring break, planning on going to Machu Picchu in Peru. Uh, I'll probably do something before that. Me, Nick, his aunt, and then um, I think we have a couple people from the program that are interested in going. So we're gonna do that, and then um, it's gonna be awesome. Honestly, I like I needed this trip. Just needed a break from school and university. I'm still going to school and studying Spanish, starting tomorrow. But I'm just glad I'm not at Towson right now. It's great. I'm sure, he's guys not in Cincinnati either. Yeah. Might be interested in joining. Tora de entrenar. I was going to the gym a lot at Towson. Just about every day. After Thanksgiving hit. Right downhill, so as soon as I get settled in, I think I'm definitely gonna start going back again. So just why not? And running. And running. Some observation decks right there. We got a pier right here. So we're in a store called Paris right now here in the mall and um, I need to buy some memory cards and the phone chip. Yeah. So we're still at the mall. I got a little excited and we found a crepe place. So we got some fresa Nutella crepe, which is a uh, strawberry crepes with Nutella. Look at that. Hold well on. Another cool thing is that the, today the mountains actually aren't under too much smog, so they're actually really visible. Very visible. Take a look. This is the view from my window. From the mall, um, Centro de Comercial en Espanol. Um, so this mall is called uh, um, Costanera Center. It's actually the tallest building in Latin America that we went to, the one I've shown you. And that's pretty much it. I had a good time today. and. I was able to find out about the observation deck, which 
at the Costanera Center is really nice. So you can go all the way almost to the top of the island, which is like 300 meters. I don't know how many feet that is. And um, it's open every day from 10 to 10, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And I lied. I got to do this. This is my um, new phone plan I get. Hmm. 1.5 gigabytes a month or until it runs out and 500 megabytes of WhatsApp use and, and I guess I can talk so didn't really vlog yesterday kind of did but I didn't get enough footage so I have to shoot more today just looking for loyalty met a nice guy try to treat you royally This is Rowan. Hi. We're gonna go learn how to do some photography together. Go take a look at this building right here. All right, cool. So we found this park and we're gonna go do some tripod shots. Pretty much, it is a freaking gorgeous day outside. Ah, shit. Is there something I need to get? We're taking some badass pictures right now, man. Fuck you. Yeah. Um, so all you guys interested in for photography, we're talking about doing ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. So I'm sure you've watched tons of YouTube videos already on these three things, but I consider them like the pyramid of photography. And with that being said, I, I think if you're a beginner photographer, you need to just go out and shoot manual. See what you can do and do as much as you can with it because that's the only way you're going to get better at it. It's going to be really slow at first, but once you get the hang of it is when you're going to be really be able to pull out some good shots. And as a beginner photographer myself, if you do these three things, you follow the pyramid in manual focus. I mean, like shooting in auto is good. You can get some really good shots, but I think if you do the three pyramids, you shoot in raw and you're able to have some really good post editing software like like Lightroom or Affinity or something, you're gonna be able to really pull out some great shots. So that's some really good things for beginner photographers to worry about. So she's gonna take some shots of me now. <laughs> Jeez, that's pretty good. <laughs> for me, oh, try like with the city in the background. So like face this way. Wait, so. Is that what you're saying? All right, you never want the subject to be dead center. Put me off right a little bit. Make sure that's great. Yeah. And like I said, mess, like your settings should be good. Mess with shutter speed. That's all you need to mess with. So whatever looks good, like on the viewfinder. So yeah, this is, that's gonna be one of those shots because like you're gonna need like three shots to combine them all. Yeah. yeah so like, that's whatever. So do you feel better at photography? I do. <laughs> I think I'm a good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I did some weird shit on camera. Alright, so I'm tired now. I think I got enough shit for this video, so I'm actually kind of hungry now. So today we had orientation, we had to sit. Wait, I'm gonna give it a good background. So we had to sit for four hours in line. After about four hours, I had a bag of chips. And after the bag of chips, we did a little city tour. And then we went to the university, and then we came back, and here I am now in this park. It is so pretty. Yeah, so uh, we're here. I don't know what we're doing exactly with the visa, but we have to do something. And man, there is just an ass ton of people up in this bitch. Look at this. It's like the DMV times 20,000.